What up guys, uh, it's Chris here, and uh, I got my new uh, gold mirror shield for my Scorpion XLR2000. Um, <clears throat> before I got it, I was trying to look up any sort of actual, you know, pictures of what it looked like in person. Couldn't find them. So uh, if anyone else is, you know, looking, hopefully you're going to find this video. Uh, here it is. I think it's a nice looking helmet. Um, but uh, I'm about to remove this little S here for the Scorpion. Mostly because I'm not really digging the... Uh, it just doesn't really fit the whole color scheme I got going on here. And also, the little warning stickers that it came on, that it came with. The, uh, the glue was probably a little stronger than it needed to be. You can see all the fingerprints here of me trying to get it off. You know, one over here as well. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if anyone else has this problem, I'm sure you guys, you know, people try like rubbing alcohol or something, which I wouldn't try, but what's really worked for me in the past is using a nice synthetic wax. This one's worked really well for me. Um, when I first got the bike, the first thing I did was, um, when I got my tank guard, I didn't get a pro grip one. I got a much cheaper one. <clears throat> actually, it wasn't much cheaper. It was actually about the same price. But I got it from uh, Cycle Gear. And what was weird was the glue was really strong that held one part of it on, right? But, like, if you could imagine, like, the layer that attached to the tank stayed there, but it, like, separated. So I had the shape of a tank guard, but the actual finished part that looked good was peeling off. And it was a pain in the ass. So um, I was able to use um, this wax to um, get all that glue off, you know, to kind of, kind of just not scratch it off really, but kind of rub at it and get it off without damaging the paint. And that's what I intend to do here. I'm going to remove this. I've got my little, uh, I don't have a heat gun, <laughs> but I'm going to use a little blow dryer to heat it up, you know, pull it off. I'm not going to use any tools. I'll just get my fingernail underneath and pull it off. And then I'll use this to remove any residual wax as well as that stuff down there. But I haven't even used a shield yet, so I'll probably I'll take this off. Anyways, that's it. I'll post a quick little video of what it looks like afterwards. Uh, here we are about 15 minutes later. Um, basically it worked. I mean the only thing was uh this glue was a little bit what stronger than I thought it would have been. So um use a little dental floss. Basically, um, as I was heating it up with that, um, I would just have this hand right here, and I'll just kind of pull and, yeah, just kind of pull it through the, uh, between the surface and the glue. But yeah, like I said, the, um, this worked pretty well. I'm sure other synthetic work, uh, synthetic waxes would work just fine too, but let's see if I can get it in a better light. Uh, yep, yeah, so I'm happy with it. I know some people, I mean, I like the way the S looks, I just didn't like the way it looked with the, um, the color, uh, you know, the color of this, uh, shield here, so. And, uh, they're not paying me to advertise, I don't need a big Scorpion logo on my helmet. I know, I know it's a good helmet. Anyways. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Or just don't hit anything and leave and never come back. Um, yes, that is it. Goodbye. Yeah, so that whole thing about if you don't like it, don't come back. I'm just kidding. But don't come back for me. Come back for the puppy. Dexter, tell him to come back. Huh? Aww.